silver medalist, Sterling Diaz, uh, just wrapped up your world tournament with the silver. Tough match, but talk about what was going through your head in those close calls, those close moments. Um, throughout my head, I was just you know focusing on my match. I wasn't trying to rush through things. I was just focusing on what I was doing. I didn't care what the ref was thinking or like what anyone in the stands was saying. I was just like focused on myself. What did you say that you like learned from this tournament as opposed to last year when you finished with bronze? This year you got a step further. Yeah. What did you learn? Um, I learned a lot from this tournament. Going through adversity, that's one of the, like, the power things that I've had to go through. Um, but the majority of this like whole tournament, I was just like proud of who I am and like how much training I dedicated into this one tournament. And so I'm like really happy about what, what my performance. Yeah, I remember at Women's Nationals when we talked, you said that since winning bronze, you've been a lot more confident. Did you enter this tournament with that much confidence still? Did you, did you carry that in? Yes, of course. I never stopped. I didn't doubt myself once, one minute. I knew I was going to be in the finals. How do you stay so calm? Um, I don't like, I mean, I guess you could say I perform best when I'm like under pressure. That's what Coach Jessica Medina told me. And I guess that really stuck to me. Is there, are there things you do in practice to work on that? Um, no, not necessarily. I just, I just stay relaxed, mainly because of my brother, my older brother. Uh, he really pushed me to like bring out that humility, and I thought it was like really cool to have that. As far as being popular, you're getting a lot of pictures here. What's it like being such a popular wrestler? Uh, it's kind of crazy. Like I got silver, and I'm still getting like pictures and like fans from other countries, and people want pictures with me. It's like kind of cool. <laughs> So you ended the match 4-4, knowing that you're just criteria away from being a world champion. What are some things that you go home and start working on? Um, some things I should work on is definitely trying to stay in good position, but especially when I'm like in that zone where I'm about to come out of bounds, and just to you know stay relaxed in those tough positions. It seems like pretty positive even after a loss in the finals. I guess overall, what did you learn about yourself? Um, I learned to just be happy. You know, like I dedicated my whole life into this sport, and I've been training this whole entire year for this one tournament, like I said. And I'm just like proud of what I did, and I'm glad I was in the finals. I didn't come up short like last year, so it's pretty cool. You have two teammates in the bronze medal match. You were there last year. You were just in the middle match. What some advice that you would give them? Just to do what they do best and just perform. Very cool. Thanks, Sterling. Yeah.